Welcome to another Aoi Gaming Review, and today we will be looking at Super Mario Odyssey. Now, when this game was first announced for the Nintendo Switch back in March, I mean actually February for my correction, everyone was like, yes, another Mario game, and it looks so much like Mario 64. Now, I'll just go ahead and go out on a limb and say, I personally didn't get the chance to beat Mario 64, but I can see why people would get that same feel for the game as it appeared more of an open world compared to Super Mario Galaxy 1 or 2. This is reasonable because like nowadays we want more open world games to be able to do more. Now, Super Mario Odyssey meets all expectations and what you want from a Mario game. It's the same story though it really is it's just that you are trying to say peach from bowser there's nothing wrong with that because there's nothing wrong with games like zelda because like you know the premise but it's just the overwhelming experience that you want to feel while playing games like this and super mario odyssey really captures that feel throughout the entire let's say 90 minute frame because Let's just face it, the game is very simple and it's straight to the point. Your objective is to save Peach by going to the different worlds. Each world has power moons, which allows you to be able to go to the next world. You do not, and what makes this game so great, is that you do not have to face any of the bosses while trying to figure out where these power moons are. And each one of them is as unique if not difficult when trying to find the next one oh granted when you face a boss you get three power moons that doesn't make them any better than the power moon that you had to like seriously try to find and like it's just really really good to think that it's so open it's such an open world game that you can beat it within second like within minutes we're instead of seconds it's like okay how do i get to this power moon Okay, let's figure it out. <laughs> and it was really fun to be able to experience that throughout the entire 90 minute frame, if you were to say. It took me personally maybe five hours, but what's more key about Super Mario Odyssey is that the game doesn't really start until you beat the storyline. Because yes, you see the story, and it's a pretty simple Save Peach theme. But once those end credits happen and you start facing once you start facing those mini games to be able to get the power moons, it really makes it intense because like I've been personally say like, okay, I'm just gonna find one more power moon and that's it. Well, one becomes twenty. And like I think the end credit is like you nine hundred and ninety nine power moons, so lacking in content plus game, Mario exceeds at that. And it really captures it. What also what I liked about it, it was the different kingdoms that you get to go to in the game. Just like New Donk City is something completely different than compared to what we're seeing from like the Mushroom Kingdom. And like, you know, your water worlds from like previous Mario games such as Galaxy or 64. It was really captivating to look and witness uh, Mario in like human world it's like wow it's really cool to look at and I will just go out on a limb if you do play this game New Kingdom I mean uh, Metro Kingdom or where New Donk City is is one of the most exhilarating exciting moments in the game that even had me in cold chills while playing it it was just and just so great and I will not spoil that now, it was really cool to see that Nintendo grasped on the traditional 2D Super Mario World uh, gameplay within Super Mario Odyssey. It was just neat and different. Like, because personally, I came in not knowing any of the spoilers, because, like, it's something like Mario or Zelda that you shouldn't spoil yourself with. It was really exciting to play. Now, there are. You can say that this game is completely easy and like completely not long enough, but we had to remember what the 
audience that Nintendo is trying to capture. Yes, if you're a fan favorite, it's the likes and that. But you still, there's just something about this game that makes you come back to it. And yes, it can be frustrating at times because, like, you can die. But it's all about the coins in Super Mario Odyssey. All about your coins. And just to be able to... It takes 10 coins if you die. 10 coins! Wow, you see coins all the time. There's tons and tons of coins in this game. And that's what Mario is, just like hearing that like ding, 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 go off 24-7 just makes it so, so great. It was, it was cool to just go like, oh, 10 coins? Oh, I can get that right now after I died. It's just like those checkpoints are easy and to the point, and it's really, really cool. And it didn't bother me to like to die and try over again to try to get that power moon because like once you get it it's like oh great i have it like it's really really amazing to have <coughs> now i will say that some of the faults within this game were just the fact that you have to let's say you had to do certain mini games to in order to exceed to the next levels or like some of the challenges aren't as exciting like why do I have to do this challenge? Just give me a power room. Or also the camera. The camera in this game, I would just go ahead and say, you might as well turn it up to high because the camera can really play a factor. Boss fights are easy. And that's what contains to anyone that says that the game is really easy. Because with the those boss fights, if you were to play the game, you would say like, oh, I figured it out within seconds compared. And that's just to show that it's really meant for a younger generation even though you're a fan favorite towards the game also what makes the game better was that if you're playing on the nintendo switch i'm just gonna go out and say that the best way to play this game is just to go ahead and use the pro controller you have to like it's just the best way to play granted i get that the like, joy cons can do it but if you were to play in the tablet mode and you're to shake it, it really doesn't feel really, really comfortable. So I will just go ahead and say, play it that way because you'll get the full experience of it, of a great game that is really short, but you get something out of it and it's really, really exciting. And I hope you guys check it out. And with the addition to throw your cap and to be able to come some of these enemies that you've had a problem might been like in previous mario games it was really exciting because it would just oh you can throw your cap of what cappy as they used to call them and say Woo, we become you and like figure out how to do this level it was just something different and something unique that nintendo seems to continuously do throughout their games with mario now let's look at the final review of this game now in terms of completionist you can complete this game and i think there's actually runs of about 90 minutes so it lacks in that it lacks in the capability to actually want to play the game a ton of time as it can be addicting but you just get kind of wear thin now throwing your cap around all the time can just make it seem like it's just frisbee all day so, when we look at the final score, on a 10 out of 10 basis, I would have to give this game a 0 out of 10. Oh, well, because we're staying away from the 10 point scale here at Able Gaming now, we're going to look at video games in a way where it's on a... How influential a game can be on a five-point scale. And Mario Odyssey captures it in every single format. How it can influence a kid to want to be able to jump in other video games as it is easy. It also, the level designing is great. I haven't seen a level design in a Mario game like this since Super Mario Galaxy 2. It was really cool. And the fact that everyone seems to love the levels it just makes it even more great so it can influence someone to be able to actually want to play more video games as a slight introduction 
as it is for kids. We have to keep that in mind as we continue to play some of these games. Certain games as fans, we love. But stuff like Pokemon or Mario is really meant for the younger generation at first. Yes, as we get older, we become more and we experience it. Now, with that, out of five, Aloy Gaming gives... Super Mario Odyssey, a 5 out of 5, as it hits on all formats of what it should strive for. And we just have to keep that in mind as we continue to grow into experiencing video games and loving them and how it can make an impact on someone. Because it it was really fun to be able to throw your cap around and become some of these different enemies or to be able to experience how to get a power move or to be... Go experience New Donk City or to figure out how to get any of these power moons because that was fun. And I enjoyed myself with it. And it was really a 5 out of 5 game. And I cannot express it much. You just have to check it out for yourself to see what it is. And like like I said before, you can stick with the Pro Controller. The Pro Controller is where it's at. Because like I can really show you with my Nintendo Switch right now. I would be "Ah!" all day. It's like, no. I don't, I don't have time to be using my Frisbee cap like that. I need to be able to go. I want to be able to experience what's next. And experience that on every different level. And I hope you guys enjoy this review as we switch from that and how it can be influential on somebody. And how we can make an impact in video games. Because mark my words, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to look at this, how Super Mario Odyssey did. And put it into their video games. And that's what we want to see. We want to see bounce back and forth. How these companies be able to work together. And that's all we can ask for. Because like at the end of the day. We're all one big family. And we want the best results for every game possible. And with that being said. I'm Perry. You can subscribe to the channel. I hope you've been catching the podcast. It's been really, really fun. And you can follow me on Twitter. At AgentPlatypus23. And this is another AWA Gaming Review. Check you later, guys.